ascending order of decimals. Arranging decimals in ascending order means that arranging decimals in increasing order. That is, we start with the smallest decimals and then next larger decimals and so on till we reach the largest decimals which is written at the last place. Follow the following steps for arranging decimals in ascending order. Step 1. We start with comparing the whole number part of decimals and decimal with smallest whole number part is to be written at first place in the order. Step 2. Then we find a decimal whose whole number part is larger than the whole number part of decimals selected earlier in step 1 but smaller than the whole number part of remaining decimals. Step 3. And then we find a decimal whose whole number part is larger than the whole number part of the decimals selected earlier in step 2 but smaller than the whole number part of the remaining decimals. These steps are repeated in similar ways Still, we are left with only one decimal, whose whole number part is the largest among whole number parts of all the given decimals and it would be written at the last place of the order. Example, let's try arranging the following series of decimals in ascending order. And the series is 181.98, 64.70, 345.75, 9 9.72, 0.05, 1.8 and the solution is this proceeds in the following steps. Step 1. We start with comparing the whole number part of decimals and decimal with smallest whole number part is to be written at first place in the order and we get 0 is the smallest whole number part of decimals 0 0.05 from the given series. So, it is written at the first place of the ascending order. So, ascending order series 0 0.05 step 2. Then, we find a decimal whose whole number part is larger than the whole number part of decimals selected earlier in step 1. But, smaller than the whole number part of remaining decimals and we get 1 is the whole number part of decimal 1.8 it is larger than the 0 which is the whole number part of the decimal 0.05 but smaller than the whole number part of the remaining decimals. So 1.8 is written next to decimal 0.05 in the ascending order and we get the series 0 0.05, 1.8. Step 3 and then we find a decimal whose whole number part is larger than the whole number part of the decimal selected earlier in step 2 but smaller than the whole number part of the remaining decimals and we get 9 is the whole number part of the decimal 9.72 it is larger than the 1 which is the whole number part of the decimal 1.8 but smaller than the whole number part of the remaining decimals. So 9.72 is written next to 1.8 in the ascending order and we get the series 0 0.05, comma 1.8, 9.72. Step 4 and then we find a decimal whose whole number part is larger than the whole number part of decimal selected earlier in step 3 but smaller than the whole number part of remaining decimals and we get 64 is the whole number part of decimal 64.78 it is larger than the 9 which is whole number part of the decimal 9.72 but smaller than the whole number part of remaining decimals. So, 64.78 is written next to 9.72 in the ascending order and we get the series 0 0.05, 1.8, 9.72, 64.78. Step 5 
and then we find a decimal whose whole number part is larger than the whole number part of the decimal selected earlier in step 4 but smaller than the whole number part of remaining decimals and we get 181 is the whole number part of the decimal 181.98 it is larger than the 64 which is the whole number part of decimal 64.78 but smaller than the whole number part of the remaining decimals so 181.98 is written next to 64.78 in the ascending order and we get series 0.05 1.8 9.72 64.78 181.98 at last we are left with only one decimal whose whole number part is the largest among the whole number part of the given decimals and it would be written in the last place of the order since decimal 345.75 whose whole number part is 345 and the largest among whole number part of all the given decimals so 345.75 would be written at the last place of the ascending order and we get complete series 0.05 1.8 9.72 64.78 181.98 345.75